Hi, in this video we'll talk about how dengue test works. If you are from a tropical climate, you know dengue is a big problem. Especially if you are from South America, Africa or India, you know every year a lot of people get affected by dengue and it's a nasty fever. So sometimes you might experience that fever with chill and this might be due to dengue. So if you are having a fever and chill, you should get yourself tested for dengue. But we need to know how this test works, how to interpret the result and what precautions you can take. So let's start from the beginning. Dengue is caused by a virus which is from a flaviviridae family and this virus is mosquito borne. That means it is transmitted via mosquito. And it's important to get tested for dengue if you have high fever associated with chills especially if you are in this tropical climate region. Now NS1 antigen test is done for detecting uh, dengue virus and the method which is used is ELISA. NS1 antigen test is very simple. It is based on the principle that we need to detect a fragment or a small portion of the virus to understand whether the virus is present in our body or not. NS1 antigen is a non-structural protein and this protein should be present in infected patient's blood. So by detecting NS1 antigen, we can understand the status of dengue virus infection. So this is the dengue genome. And one small portion of the genome encodes for the NS1 protein. And in this ELISA assay, we detect the NS1 antigen itself. In order to perform this test, blood samples are collected from the patients and the serum is extracted in the pathological laboratory. And in the lab, let us tell you what kind of test is performed. So, in the microtiter plate, ELISA would be performed. All the wells of the microtiter plate would be covered with specific antibodies which are known to detect NS1 antigen. Then patient sample would be provided in these microtiter plate. We have expectation that patient sample might contain the NS1 antigen. So let us add the patient plasma sample. If patient sample has NS1 antigen, then it would bind to the antibody. So after washing it, we provide a secondary antibody, which is enzyme linked. Now we provide substrate. Now when, once we provide substrate, it would eventually show some color. And this color reaction is indicative of a positive test. If color is developed, the test is positive. Obviously, we don't determine the color or the intensity of this color via naked eyes. We do it in a sophisticated ELISA machine, which measured the absorbance with a sophisticated software. Now, this is the report. Here, a reference range would be provided for you. Negative test is indicated by a value which is lower than 9. A positive test means a value which is greater than 11. And these are all antigen units. So let's say in this particular report, you can see the value to be 2.31. So obviously the test is negative. Let's say the value is 13.5. Then the test is positive. Now let us try to understand. We need to get tested within the seven days of fever onset. Now, whenever we get infected with dengue, our body also responds by making antibodies specific to dengue virus. There are other ways to get tested for dengue. To understand how much of antibody has been produced in the body. Okay. So here our body produces plasma cells which produce IgM or IgG specific for dengue virus. And these antibodies would neutralize the virus. So if we are able to detect these dengue specific antibodies in the patient serum, then it is likely that that particular patient was infected by dengue. So it's kind of a indirect readout. Now let us try to understand the immune kinetics behind that. So let's say we have a first infection. 
within a 7 to 10 days span there would be an elevation of IgM level. So we can detect that IgM level via ELISA. Now after 20 to 30 days there would be elevation of IgG antibody levels and all these antibody levels can be determined by ELISA assay. So again patient sample is collected and from the serum ELISA is performed. Now there are other kind of tests which can be done for dengue viruses such as DNV124 real-time quantitative PCR assay. Now this particular assay determines the virus specific RNA in a patient's blood sample and this particular assay can also tell us about the virus's serotype that means what type of virus has uh, actually infected you. These kind of tests are generally used by scientists to determine in a particular season, in a particular area, which type of dengue virals, virus serotype is dominant. But this is not a prescribed test for individuals. So I hope this particular video was helpful and now you know what is the biology behind NS1 antigen test and how to understand the result behind it. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you wish to subscribe to my channel, you should also check out my uh, social media links. All are provided in the description. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.